depenalisation, decriminalisation and legalisation. These terms are often used in the debate on how to control the supply and use of drugs. There's no universal agreement on these terms, but it's helpful to explore the different ideas behind them if we're to better understand their meaning. Let's start by considering that there are different possible levels of offences. They range from no offence all the way to a criminal offence, which is usually punished. These levels of offences may be separated into behaviours that are usually prohibited and behaviours that are usually permitted. The first term we'll look at is depenalisation. This is where something that was a criminal offence that was usually punished is changed to where it remains a criminal offence, but now there's a mechanism deciding that it's usually no longer punished. The case may be closed or suspended, it may be considered minor, or it may be decided that it's not in the public interest to prosecute. Then we have the term decriminalisation. This is usually used where the status of an offence is reclassified from criminal to non-criminal within a country's legal framework. It's still an offence. It's still prohibited behaviour, which will be stopped by the police and punished, but it's no longer considered criminal. A simple example of this status is a parking ticket. Bad parking is an offence, which is prohibited and punished, but it may not be considered criminal. Both depenalisation and decriminalisation refer to changes in legal status and are often used to describe possible options for changing a country's response to offences related to drug use. The third term often used for changes in drug laws is legalisation. We apply this term to the supply of drugs and we use it to describe a move from a prohibited behaviour, whether criminal or not, to a permitted behaviour. Legalised supply may not be an offence in defined circumstances. We call this regulation, and in Europe that's the case for alcohol and tobacco, where there are specific rules to regulate supply, such as an age limit for buyers and a licence for sellers. If there are no specific rules on limits to supply, we're talking about a free market. This is, for example, the case for selling goods such as coffee, although general rules for consumer products will still apply. The important thing about an act of legalisation is that it crosses the line from prohibited to permitted behaviour, which depenalisation and decriminalisation do not do.